Hi, this is Bob from WAMS Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to claim a Credly credit and add it to your folio. So the first thing is you'll need to have the Credly claim URL. It'll look something like this. And so this URL will claim this Credly badge. And what does that get you? It gets you all the metadata behind it. So within this badge, if people were to click on this and see what this badge was earned for, you would see that what the title was, what the description was, how long the session was, and what the, set, what the participants ended up accomplishing. And so this badge is not just to showcase something pretty on your profile, but it's also to showcase the education that you received based on a certain event. All right, so once you have the claim credit, all you have to do is open up a tab and paste it in or click on the link and it'll bring you to this page here. If you already have a Credly account, you can sign in and then claim the credit. If you haven't yet created an account, you can go just click on create account here. So I already have one, so I'll click on sign in and I'll sign in with my personal email address. That way, if something happens and I leave the school, um, I'll still have this um, educational credit following me, right? So I'll sign in. And I have and now I can claim this credit. Before I do, I can attach evidence. So um, here it says the evidence required is to claim this credit, include the date of the training, reflection statement I learned, and action statement I will. So here I can go ahead and click on the document and I can upload an evidence file. Um, I can have a link to something or I can just type it directly in here, right? So uh, the session occurred uh, 927, I learned yada yada yada, um, and then based on my training, I will yada yada yada, right? And then I can save that as part of the evidence. Okay. Afterwards, I can claim the credit. Okay, and now I can find in my inbox this badge. I've earned the badge. Okay, and now if I want to share this, other people can see it as well. All I have to do is click on the little share icon here and I'm gonna get the share link. So here's the link to my badge with my evidence. I'll copy the link. And then in my folio, under the professional development section, I can click on the edit and I can add to my narrative here. So on 9-27-2016, I attended Twitter 101. And instead of having to type in all the evidence that I did here, I already did that. All I have to do is just paste in the link here. Now you'll see that I have each of my professional development sessions on its own line. But one little thing about Folio is that if I were to click on update here, you'll see at the bottom that it all adds it to one line instead. It kind of merges it all. So to keep them separated, here's the trick. Go back to the edit pencil and put another return character after each of your sessions. Then select update and you'll see that they're now on their own lines. Okay, so instead of having to clog up this session with a lot of information, all you have to do then, if people are interested in seeing what this event was about, they could copy the link and in a new tab or a new window, paste in that link. And even if they're not signed into Credly, they will see the badge and what the session was, who issued it, on what day, what the description of the event was, and then the evidence that you provided. And this is what you had typed when you earned the badge in the first place. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. Thanks for watching.